Hi it's Vic, welcome back to my channel and today I'm sharing with you this sweet sloth birthday card. So I'm going to be using the Time for Tea Designs Be Slothy Clear stamp set and I have a card size, it's square, it's 15 by 15 centimetres and then I've trimmed a smaller piece to 12 by 12 centimetres which is the piece we're going to be working on. So I have some Versamark ink, I've took a couple of the smaller stamp sets from the Be Slothy stamp set and I'm just going to go ahead and prepare my card so this will hold the embossing powder. So we're going to be doing some resist embossing so I'm going to be adding some embossing powder over this and then I'm going to heat set it and then we're going to add distress inks which I'm then going to blend the colours all over the top of this card and it will leave a really pretty pattern. So once I've stamped all those little images, I'm going to go ahead and I've got a piece of scrap paper here. This is just to catch the embossing powder. I'm using Wow Embossing Powder in bright white and I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this all over the card. And if you have any stray bits of powder on your card that you need to get rid of, I always use a dry paintbrush and just gently swipe it away. So now I've got my heat gun and I'm going to go and heat set this embossing powder. Once I've heat set that, I'm then going to move on to the blending. So I have my Time for Tea Designs beautiful blending brushes and then I've also got three colours of Distress Oxide. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to start with the blue and I'm just starting off in the corner and I'm gradually going to add the pressure to make the blue a bit more darker and then I'm going to go in with my other colours. But you can see here how that resist embossing, what it looks like once it's been ink blended. It's I love doing this, it's such a fun technique. So if you haven't tried this, I'd definitely give it a go because it's really, really fun. So now I have my yellow colour, so I'm just, I'm being careful not to go too close to the blue at the minute because I don't want to smudge it and end up with green. And then for the last colour I have the pink which is worn lipstick and I'm applying a couple of coats of this and then I'm just going to gently blend all the colours together and then I'm going back in with my yellow and then I'm going to go back in with the blue. So once that's blended together, I have the normal Distress Ink. This is Barn Door. And I'm just going to add a little bit of water to my paintbrush. And then I'm just going to go in and do a couple of splatters just to finish the background off. And when I'm doing this, I always have a piece of paper in front of me just so I don't end up getting the ink everywhere on my desk. So now that part's complete, I'm just going to leave that to dry and I'm going to crack on with my stamping. So I ended up stamping another sloth image because I only stamped out three and I needed four. So if you are going to do the same card as me, then make sure you stamp out four of the sloths. And these, they're so sweet, they always make me smile. I think they're probably one of my favourite stamp sets from Time for Tea Designs. So now I'm just going to quickly go in and colour up these images and I have all the Copics that I've used on the screen if you want to use the same colours. And I'll apologise now for my arms, they're covered in bruises and scratches because I've got a puppy so she's at that age where she's just biting. So I just wanted to make you aware of that just in case you wondered why my arms and hands were bruised. So getting back to the card, um, I yeah, I love these images, but when I was colouring them, I was thinking, oh, it's not going to go with the background I've done. So this was actually a bit of a challenge for me because I just wanted to try and make it work. And I was really happy with how it turned out. So if you're at that part of your card making where you just think it's not going to go, then just crack on and just keep trying because... I felt the same over this card. I thought the browns with the rainbow background probably wouldn't work, but I, I ended up liking it. So I'm just finishing up my colouring now and I will leave all the Copics listed down below just in case you need to write them down or anything or you can take a screenshot of the screen. 
So now I have the coordinating dies and I've got some washi tape and just having one of them days you can clearly see that's not the right stamp for the die. <laughs> so now I found the correct one I'm going to go and run these through my die cutting machine and I'm going to also be using the Big Birthday Wishes Sentiment die. Again this is one of my favourite dies. I just love the font on this so I've gone ahead and I've cut two pieces. I've got the sparkly pink card and then the white. So I'm just going to adhere them together. And I've done this just to make the sentiment a little bit more thicker. And then I've got my foam tape on the back of my panel that I've ink blended. So I'm just going to pop that onto my card base. And then I'm going to add my little sloth images and I've just used some foam pads to adhere these down and the last one I just trimmed off the edge of the branch just so that it fits nicely on the card. I'm using the PVA glue to adhere that sentiment and then I'm just going to pop my acrylic block on top just to add a little bit of pressure because where we have the embossing on there I need something to hold it down just while it dries and then I'm just finishing up with the little leaves that I've die cut and then that finishes our card so like I said I was a bit unsure about the background but I kind of like it I think it worked out really well so I hope you feel inspired to give this a go and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.